All right, I call this the four-way shoulder or the sideline shoulder smoker because this really is going to challenge a lot of shoulder strength and stability. Um, even for an advanced athlete, sometimes five pounds can be really hard. So lots of options here for loading. I can use a dumbbell. I can use a plate. At home, you could even use a Nalgene water bottle. is about a pound, pound and a half is a place to start. I'm going to show with the plate here. So I'm going to come on my side. The setup. I want to have my shoulder not rolled forward, but drawn back and down kind of away from my ear. And then I want to roll hip and shoulder slightly forward. That's going to get gravity work in the back of my shoulder. I'm going to come here and start with some shoulder rotation. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to come up, hold for three, down slow and controlled. Up, so I'm holding these positions. Common mistakes on this first one is rolling back or flaring the wrist and working the elbow rather than the shoulder. So I'm going to hit five to eight reps here. I'm already feeling some work at just five pounds. That's way number one. Then once I hit five, I'm going to go straight out, hold here for a second, come up and hold there for a second. Come back down. What I'm looking for here is this arm is pretty much vertical, not down, not up. And I'm controlling this. As you come up, the arm is going to want to do this, so I want to keep it nice and controlled. So I'm going to hit five to eight reps here. You can get a pillow for your head. You don't want to hold your head up. Again, I'm feeling some work back of the arm, shoulder blade. Number three, I'm going to come here. I want this plate parallel to the ground. I'm going to draw a big semicircle. I'm trying to reach towards the camera. As you get overhead, the arm is going to want to dip to the ground, so I want it, it's going to feel like you're pointing your thumb to the ceiling. For most people, you're really not. If I'm thinking about pointing my thumb up, I'm probably parallel to the ground. This, I think, is the hardest one. I'm really reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, now reaching up, reaching up, reaching up. You can see I'm shaking. I'm trying to keep this on dead parallel to the ground. Really starting to burn five reps there, then last one, thumb up to the ceiling. This is often the easiest, but you give a little stretch, hit the shoulder in this direction, so coming up nice and slow and controlled. I feel a little stretch there, back down. If you feel any pinching or pain in any of these positions, only go as far as you can comfortably. So if you get up here and that causes a little pinch on the top of your shoulder, then just only go as far as you can. As you come up here, I don't want to shrug up to my ear, but I also don't want to squeeze the shoulder strongly back. I just want to have a nice fluid motion. That's about five reps, and with just five pounds, my shoulder's feeling a little smoked.